Well, I'm multitasking today. I made a run to Bozeman today and uh, bought a camera clamp that I'm going to try out. And uh, it's something that'll help me get better video. I'm doing laundry, <laughs> which you can hear probably the dryer going in the background. And I'm getting my drill bits back in place. I think I that goes there. No, it doesn't. Maybe this one does. It kind of do. All right. I'll show you what I'm thinking of doing here. And I'm going to get another one of these clamp, camera clamps, because... It ain't that expensive, and uh, it's amazing. So anyway, I'm going to drill a couple of holes into uh, that wood so it won't split on me. Drill into this. Get a couple of two inch, two inch screws. speed on the drill and put the screws into their holes. I know this is probably not that exciting, but sometimes you got to do things. Not so exciting. This is the clamp I got. Let's see. I think, yeah. I'll drop that. And I'll open up this. Use a clamp to anchor this onto the uh, table, my sculpting table. Hmm. I think what I'll do is clamp it this way. Let's see if you can see me doing this. There. 
There's a little groove here that uh, allows the camera to get it at the right angle there. And uh, I like that. I'll try to show you the, how I've got this with this paper behind it. But I've got the clamp on this board and I've angled this uh, uh, ball joint that uh, mounts into the camera and it's got a tightening screw here for that and a tightening screw down here for the, the uh, back and forth. Um, this ball joint has a groove where the uh, rod can go into it so you can get it at a 90 degree. I got this at a local uh, camera shop at uh, uh, up in Bozeman and the whole thing with this extension and uh, the clamp was about $48. That's not too bad. I'm always trying to improve my videos and uh, this one works I think. Now I'll turn on the camera, take the uh, cap off and uh, then I'll adjust the camera there and uh, set the focus. And hit the record. All right, there we are. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to show me or not because I ain't got my hat on. My hair's a mess. But, uh, yeah, what the heck. But it stays on the clay. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking about uh, putting another clamp over here. So I've got two angles, maybe one more directly in front of the uh, clay. Now, just to improve the view for you guys who uh, watch my videos. Now... This is for, I'm doing this piece for the uh, instructional DVD that I'm putting together on creating a man and a woman to go with a horse. And I already did the uh, video on the horse. It's actually a two DVD set. And uh, so we got that going. And this is just an addition to that horse that I created. And I did change the horse a little bit uh, to uh, accommodate uh, the positioning of the uh, two figures. So uh, help me finance these improvements <laughs> by buying my DVDs, my circle DVDs. It would really be helpful. All right. That's going to be it for today. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.